Well, hello, y'all. I hope y'all are having a great night. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the 100 Envelope Challenge. And I'm going to show you what a couple of them look like on the screen right now. And the idea is each envelope has a number on it. It goes all the way to 100. You can do it in order. You can do it backwards. You can do it as, as you get money. But for each envelope, let's say it's the do the first one, one, you would put $1 in. If you're on the 97th envelope, you put $97 in it. And at the end, you'll have $5,050. Now this is a very daunting challenge. That's why it's such a big deal when someone completes it. You know, $5,000 is a lot of money for most people. I have never felt the, felt the courage to do it. And then in last night's video, y'all saw me start it and I did the biggest one, the 100. And I should have probably explained something about that because me and my husband ate out of the pantry for a whole week. And if you don't know what that is, that's where you shop your food. You don't buy groceries. It's great for the environment because you don't have food waste. And it's also very great for your wallet. And that gave us an extra $200. 100 of those dollars went directly on to me starting the 100 envelope challenge. And the other one I put in my scratch off sinking funds. If you notice, it was like right at $100 more. And so I should have explained it, but I didn't really think about it at the time. I was just so excited to scratch the stuff off and play the games. But I really think I want to talk about tonight when you maybe feel like you're on a moderate budget or a tight budget and you can feel discouraged and you can look at around at other budgeters stuffing large amounts and you maybe be feel, I'm not gonna say jealous, but you feel like, why am I even doing this? You know, I'm so low, will it even make a difference? And you know, that fear comes in and that doubt comes in. Let me tell you, fear and doubt, they are liars, okay? They will keep you from living your best life, your best life, not somebody else's, yours. Now, y'all know I grew up on a farm and we had horses. And I don't know if y'all have ever watched movies with horses, but if you ever have a wagon or are, watch a horse race or anywhere where a lot of horses get together, they always have the things on their eyes and they're called blinders. And do you know why they put them on there? For two reasons. One, because horses are very intelligent and they're very interested in what the horse next to them is doing. And if you get two alpha horses together, they may not like it. And if you get a female and a male together, they might like it. But it's to also to keep the horse looking straight ahead at the prize. If you're in a race, it's to win the race, the finish line. If you're going somewhere in a wagon or something like that with two or four horses, then you want them to be paying attention to how you are leading them on the reins, keeping their eyes on the road straight ahead. Too bad us humans can't have blinders on to where we don't look at the horse next to us, or I guess I should say the human next to us. And too bad we can't just keep our eyes on our own prize and our eyes on where we're going. Recently this week, we all did our method on budgeting and I really, really enjoyed it. But I have to admit, the human side of me started to notice that everybody made more money than me. And when I say everybody, I think, I, I'm sure it's not everybody, but, but most people did. And I, I have to admit, I got a little bit down about that. I was like, you know, and the, the doubt set in and the poverty mindset and the insecurities and any kind of things that happened during my childhood came and they just kind of all attacked me. I felt down, you know, I was like, yeah, grew up poor, the whole family's poor, you're always going to be poor, you know, and I had to actually say, stop it, stop it, Michelle, you have come so far, you do not compare yourself to anyone else. You know why? 
Comparison is the thief of joy. You compare yourself to others, you stop taking joy in your own accomplishments. So I want to make this video if you feel like you can't do the $100 challenge, okay? This is what I'm going to be doing, and I want to explain it so if you see it in my future videos, you'll understand. I bought this at Target, and the reason why I bought it is because I have two big, humongous oak trees in my front yard, and I have lived in my house for 22 years. When we first moved in, it was they were tiny. They were so tiny, and I have a male and a female, so do you know what that means? They make acorns. Well, the female does. You have to have a male and a female near each other. And the female, and of course, it's the, the female is the one right next to my driveway. So I run over acorns for like three or four months, but it's still cool. And it's amazing that a little tiny acorn like this can be planted and then grow into one of the mightiest, strongest trees you'll ever see. And so I think that's a lot like budgeters that maybe are on a moderate or a low income or fixed income or if you have a you know you can make ten thousand dollars but if your monthly bills are twelve thousand dollars you're no better off than a, than a low income person so if you feel like you're not getting as fast of budgeting traction as everyone else i want you to think about the acorn and plan it and what it's going to grow into if you're consistent with it give it some water give it some love give it some sunlight so going forward okay i've done the 100 and i was able to do that because we ate some really weird meals y'all one night we had spaghetti noodles i had some pasta uh, sauce and mashed potatoes <laughs> it was pretty good i have to admit and then the other night we didn't have i mean it was a lot of vegan meals and we do this periodically because it allows us to get a hundred two hundred extra dollars in there you know and, we, and that's a lot of money for us so my next envelope i'm going to work on it is 99. okay i've done 100 now i'm going to work on 99. and i always pick the tough ones first it's just my personality you know i like to knock the horrible bad boys the the big enemies down and then it just can cruise on you know it's easier and easier as it goes down so if you've ever watched uh what i call a mega budgeter you will see that they buy investment shares in the stock market and they do this thing called fractional purchases where they just buy a part of a stock because y'all some stocks are like a hundred or two hundred dollars so every time they'll buy a little part until they have a full stock so I was thinking, why can't we do fractional envelopes in the 100 envelope challenge? And that's what I'm going to do. And that's what you're going to see me doing forward, going forward. And yes, it may take me more time. But you know what? I will finish it. Now, if I was so discouraged and never started it, I would never have $5,000. And the day that I have stuck my last envelope and have $5,500, I will be a mighty oak tree. Now, my tree may take a little bit longer to grow. It might be a little gnarled, you know, but that's okay. I am on my own journey, and I have to remember that. I have to keep my blinders on, and I pray about it. I do, because it is so hard not to look at other people and think, well, you know, it's never going to get there, and they can stuff all this, and they can do all this. They have their own journey. They have their own things going behind the scene. You don't know what's going on. They may have it a lot, a lot rougher than you think. Also, while you're stuffing your money, there's somebody out there watching you going, oh, I wish I was, I wish I was Michelle. I wish I had that much money. There's always going to be someone higher on the ladder and there's always going to be someone lower on the ladder. And our job is not to resent the person above us and to reach down and grab that person one rung or two rungs and help them up. So what I'm gonna do tonight is fractional. So I starting with $99. So tonight I'm gonna make my first fractional payment of $15. That's all I have. That's okay. I do that a couple of weeks, y'all knock down the $99 envelope, right? So I'm gonna keep writing it down until I have $99. And I'm gonna put it like this. 
so I can see it. Now, I could put it in the envelope right now, but I'm not because that's a sense of accomplishment when I fold up that $99 and put it in here. So I'm just gonna put it like that and I'm gonna put it like that so I can see it. And I'm gonna look at my acorn and I'm gonna know that anytime I walk by, maybe I every day wanna empty out my purse, I'll dump a couple of bucks in it and at the end of the week when I do uh, my debt, um, I think I do it on Saturdays. I'm gonna start doing it on Saturdays. I haven't done it yet, but I'm gonna keep y'all abreast of what's going on with this. But if you feel like you cannot do the 100 envelope challenge, come on, come on, do it with me. Do it with me. You got a cookie jar, you got a, you, even if you ain't got nothing, just put it in a coffee cup, put it in a coffee can. Look, I made this envelope. You can see I didn't even make it that great, <laughs> but I did make it big. And look, I used the, I used an old calendar, look. So I could, and then I'll just peel this off and I'll do 98 next time. Come do it with me. Don't let anything stop you. Don't let fear and doubt stop you. Stop looking at everybody else. Put your blinders on. Keep your eyes on the sight in front of you. And what's in front of you? Financial freedom, freedom from anxiety and depression, generational wealth for your children. And that may look different for your family than anybody else's, okay? But now we have some skin in the game, okay? I got skin in this game. I'm in this game. Now, because I have started stuffing it, I can say I am doing it. It may take me two years versus everybody else's six months. That's okay. I am still doing it. And if I would never start it, then I'd never finish it. So come on and do it with me. Get you uh, whatever you got and just start stuffing. If you don't, you know, make yourself a little envelope and do a fractional. It's called fractional. We're just doing a fraction of $99 as we can. So I hope y'all have a great night. I just felt so impressed to talk about this. I think I was feeling a little down yesterday. It, you know, we all get a little discouraged, you know, and today I was like, you know, no, no, I'm not gonna let that get into my brain. You know, I'm, I am, I am in control of my thoughts and I am telling, just like we tell our money where to go, I'm telling my thoughts where to go. I did tell them a couple places I wanted them to go, but I am proud of what I've done. I am proud of my journey, my journey, okay? It's not like anybody else's. So come on and do it with me. Whatever you got, you got it. You know, you don't have to buy this little thing at Target. It is cute though. But you can use a coffee can, old cookie jar, coffee cup, any a, a vase. We all got all them like plasticky or crystally vases underneath our sink. We ain't doing nothing with that. Would be real pretty looking. Make you a you don't even, you can get a postal envelope or you can use one of your old envelopes and and just every time you got some extra money. Put it in there. Get yourself some skin in the game. Let's do this together. There is no part, I am a firm believer, there is not one part of budgeting you can't do no matter what your income is. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you could comment, like, and subscribe, you know it always means the world to me. And you know I end all my videos that I'm sending you all the love, and I am. Bye-bye.